yeah. Cause now it's my favorite rapper. Yeah, yeah, listen. The reason why this is a good book is people don't get to hear AZ speak. It's like Jay-Z don't do interviews. And AZ don't do interviews. People like them, you wanna watch and read the whole thing. Like Nas is my favorite rapper. One of the biggest rappers. He went, I mean, you could say it's too far, Biggie, but Nas is one of the greatest. You can't take the title. And a lot of people don't know things about Nas. Let's just do rap beef and whatever. That's why when Jay and Nas was going at it, listen, because they don't do interviews, you don't know much about them. He's a person you would listen to. He's a gateway to knowing who Nas was. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That's Same right. way like Suge Knight or Snoop is like gateways to knowing who Pop was. Wow. If you want to know anything about Nas or how he started, like, if you want to know about the greatest rapper, you actually people around them because they, they don't speak much. He's a dude that you would just listen to. I'm pretty sure he can tell you a story about niggas in Queensbury, Nas, Prodigy, Brooklyn. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's all in the book. It's That's called Jewels, Gems, and Treasures. Listen, one of the, listen, I'm only 27, bro. One of the, the lines I live by, and I know a lot of niggas live by, is life is bitch and then you die. That's why we him. get high. Cause you never know when you gon' go. Every day I get up, I call life a bitch and then you die. I put it on Facebook. Wow. It's, it was him who said it. Wow. You know so you gon' definitely come check him next Friday, February 5th, 2016, 4 o'clock to 8. We gon' party all night afterwards. Come through. Broad Neary, Black and Nobel. We ship the prisons. My man K Walker representing. To me, he's a young OG. Right. Because he's been running around doing the same things that everybody just starting to do. He was running around doing it years ago. Right. He was coming from South Philly to North Philly by himself, by representing. Self. So I never forgot. So it's good to see you tonight. Definitely. You know, young legend right here. Promoting. Anytime he's 27, AZ uh, is working right now on his 20th anniversary for Do or Die Part 2, which is coming out. You know, the book, the album coming out in, in, a, in a month or two, all this is going to connect, and it's his 20th year anniversary. So if you're a fan, make sure you come up there and check him out. The God is definitely Ain't coming. off this shit. Is this some crazy shit or what? So this is the world we live in there. If you look out here, I live like this man down. You know, it's a highway to heaven. Like Jay-Z like said, said, it's not a such thing of a chosen one. Some people just ain't crying. What it was to put them to do. Right. And everybody can see something. Right, right. It's not like you're not more special than me, I'm not more special than you. Because you don't you ain't fine with you want to do it, probably you in the corner all the damn day while I was doing the case. That's right. You know what I mean? Well, I always say that time is the most precious jewel or the most precious resource that we have because you know, they say it's 24 hours in a day, but you know, it's people like us, we go 48 hours straight, 36 yeah, hours straight. Yeah, that 24 hours in a day, I can't really live by that, because there was another human being like me that made up that. Right, They didn't right. discuss the time with me. Yeah. Time don't make sense. Right? You know what I'm saying? Gotta, I wasn't gotta, in the room when y'all was putting together the clock. I was, I'm saying, so I don't, I don't have to abide by that. Right, you know right. Well, y'all came up with that. People that work <laughs> jobs, that's, they have to because that's it's set that yeah. you got to do eight hours. If you, if this is 24 in a day and you only work in eight, that leaves you a whole, what, how much is that? 16 hours left. And if it's 24 in one day and you times that times seven, that's 168 hours in a week and you only working 40? We got y'all beat. We working 100 plus hours a week and it pays off. That's why we can do what we want to do because we believe in ourselves. And I, I'm not knocking people that work because we need the workers. We need the workers. Yes, y'all make the owners. And uh, basically, you know what I mean? We just go around the clock. Like right now, I mean, I needed a second win because we had open mic last night. I want you to come through when you get a chance to spread some love. And uh, we right back at it. Niggas went home. We went home for three hours and came right back out and worked all day. And we still working afterwards. So it never stops. And you got to keep it going. The internet is 24 hours a day. You got to take advantage of that Wi-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> you got to take advantage of that Wi-Fi. That's love. It's, it's like, your boy Hot. Same way he was working, it's like before it was Facebook and all that. See, I remember, like, you are somebody that if a rapper ain't, like, if his music ain't working on Facebook, or if his music ain't working on Instagram, you're somebody.
somebody that they gotta go, or I gotta try to be somebody in real life. Now they gotta come with people like you, maybe at a point like a young Bob or like right. young legends and fellas. Some people are walking social media, you know yes. what I'm saying? And don't before be before social that's media. That's what I'm saying, walking social media. I'm gonna say that before even even a social media platform. Like, if you wanna get on and you can't go nowhere, all right, that's just go right in front of the black and little girl. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So you can get seen, you know what I'm saying? Not even walking up the steps, just rapping in front of the sign. It means that's what branding and marketing and promoting is, you know what I'm saying? And you might have just been sitting on your couch one day and see, it might be. The thing about social media is it made people believe that I don't have to work for it. I can just, you know what I mean, get some views on Facebook, but people don't understand. You can get all the views and comments on Facebook that you want. You still have to log out. Mm. And who are you after you log out? You go back to being nothing. You go back to overdue car bills, overdue house rent, trash on the curb that you can't pay, child support. But when you get up on social media, it's like you mean everything. People be like, I'm winning. But some people are only winning because of Wi Fi. Comcast cut that motherfucker off. You go back to being nothing. Right. If Facebook shut down, some of your most favorite rappers and models, they're going out of business with Facebook because yeah. they don't want to be nothing in real life or they don't know how to be they think in real life no more because of the internet. You know what I'm saying? And it's fucked up. The internet made you believe that I don't have to be nothing in real life. You know what I'm saying? But if you don't pay your contest bill, your career is over. Mm. That's fucked up. Yeah. yeah <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you know, Comcast is your sponsor now. Like, that's crazy. Yes, and it has its pros and cons. We just know how to be in between both. Yeah. You got to do the, uh, you got to beat the pavement up and you got to do this. Yeah. As they say, the Twitter fingers. You know what I mean? You got to do both. Like you Meek can't Mill do situation, one. Like a Meek Mill versus 50 situation. Meek Mill is the better rapper. He's the better lyricist. You know what I'm saying? 50 is an entertainer. But the reason is like why they would say Meek Mill is having it so hard is because somebody like him that came up in the streets of Philly where it was, I can rap, I can rap. Now you got to face the, the world of, it don't matter if you can rap or not. So here come the memes and stuff. So now they're going to entertain the stuff that's funny instead of going, wait, Meek Mill is the better rapper. Ain't nobody thinking that he's the better rapper. He's just, wait, this was more funnier than what he said. Right. It's like the rap is becoming that's comedy jam. So that means anybody can act the fool and get on. Yeah. So if you're on your ass doing nothing, please get up and do something because it's possible. Yeah, it's so like me. When, it's like when the awards come. It's like, okay, if you've been working hard this year, don't expect to get an award. Right, right, that's, that's right. Up. right. But if you've well, just been being funny all year and not doing nothing to start controversy, expect to get an award. That's, right. that's how it right. is. Well, things are changing. <laughs> it's evolving into something else. And the good thing about us and yourself we understand both sides. Some people never came from That's what I'm doing saying. the streets. You want to cry in, about politics until you become a part of it. And then you start learning. Everybody's going to cry about politics until they become, become politics. Then they see things from both sides. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... Us, but not us, but us as like, I mean, in, in urban areas, we would cry about less jobs, we would cry about welfare and all that. So if we was working for the government, and we became part of politics, you would see it from both sides. And we probably wouldn't even care, like they don't, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you dropping some heavy jewels. You probably wouldn't even care, care, you know what I'm saying? You can't, saying, you can't cry about everything, you know what I'm saying? But, we, but like, when you become part of it, you, you understand more. Like, you might be like, you might be watching a boxer, you might be like, damn, why? Why he hit him? Why he ain't duck? But the boxer that's in the moment, he's not thinking about, he's trying to get a quick question. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, he's right, not right. thinking about why he ain't right, and all that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because when you become part of politics, you understand the more. You stop crying about it because you're hard. You know what I'm saying? Of course you're going to cry about the system because you're not a part of it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Wow. When you become part of the system, you start learning things, you start learning how to work it more. You know what I'm saying? Like a drug dealer. They might look at drug dealers like, oh, that's bad, but drug dealers will make great accounts yes, for banks. Yes, you know yes, what I'm saying? Yes. If we had the opportunity. Right. You know what I'm saying? So can I ask you a question, brother? When you coming to Black and Nobel in your first lecture? Because I had your ass on the lecture. It's whatever, it's whatever. Man, you, know you got it. So it's kind of, it's like somebody young as yourself needs to inspire other young people to drop knowledge. I mean, because it's, it's known that knowledge is for squares, and you're far from a square. You know what I mean? But for, for it to come out of somebody of your age, your age bracket. That's what I'm saying. I think a lot of us are smart, but like the internet, like it makes it, it make it less cool. It dumbs it down. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like a lot of people are like, it's like I got dressed. 
intelligence. I'm intelligent. But a rapper like Chief Keef can make everybody with dreads look like they just gangbang. You know what I'm saying? That's not the case. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the internet has changed everything. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever your business plan was in 1999, 2015, it's not gonna work. 2016 is not gonna work. The internet made it cool to not do anything with your life. But sit back and go and get tech. But but let me explain this to you. From what we see with the memes and all the jokes and games, what you're saying tonight is going on the internet tonight. We going back to the shop and put this up tonight and other things that we did. So the same way that spreads, so does this. So it's but powerful. It point, yeah, it's powerful, but at the same time, back then, when it would only come from certain sources, it made it more powerful. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because, now it's everybody. Because this is going to pop up on the screen. And on the side, is going to be something similar right. to what we're doing. And now it's going to be clicking. Like, I was like, this is like, look at the games why they were so powerful. Because it's like, you only got to see them from certain sources, and the beats became bigger than what it was. If it was if, imagine if Biggie and Tupac had Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, they wouldn't be as powerful. Because right. it'll be three Tupac, it'll be three Biggie. It'll be, it'll be yeah. and, and you'll get to hear them talk stupid or say something dumb, or they might they might say say something, they might they might not sound as intelligent. Whereas back then you only had the source. Be people have power, and whatever they say sound powerful. It's like some people are afraid of God, not because they scared of all, because they can't see. If God was in here every day, they go from my Lord to yo, who you gonna up? You know what I'm saying? So yeah. they, like. If you see God every day, you're not going to pray to him as much. Because you can't see him, and you might think he's talking to you sometimes, but he becomes powerful. Everything that you can't see that much is power. You know what I'm saying? But when you start seeing it a lot, it, 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 it holds no real power unless it's controversial. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, like with Cassidy, he was dropping songs. He was dropping songs. He was dropping songs. He really acts like they didn't want to hear him. Then he gets in the beat with his will. Now we want to listen to him. Right. Right. Now we want to listen to him. Right. Like, come on, he been high. Right. You know what I'm saying? From way back, he actually laid it for a lot of the artists for us to actually That's take. I, I, I read tweets when people say, yo, A.R.A. really can rap. He been to rap. Yeah, he been there. Last 15 years. Like, he been yeah. rap. But it took this for you to be like, yo, right. he, right. he hot. No, he been right. rap. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's what I'm saying. Well, see how you just did that? You included so many facets from the city. But a lot of people around the world don't know. They don't know. They don't know. So this is why it's important to post up. Because this is a class. Basically, this is a hip hop 101. Coming from somebody young. So my thing is, I encourage people to put out books and tapes. So we can get it out there. So honestly, man, I appreciate what you just brought. What you did tonight mean more than everything we taped tonight. Because this is what I'm into and this is what makes me who I am to push the artist. Because he's not just uh, somebody dropping jewels. This is Kate Walker. He's an artist. He's a creator. He's a filmmaker. He does everything. So it's time for him to get on the lecture circuit so we can get the word out there coming from a whole nother perspective. How old are you? 27. 27. That's what I'm talking about. Um, there's so many people that need to hear this from you and not from old Jeez, from you, and you've been doing this since you was in your teens. Yeah. So I mean, old. yeah, man. Yeah. I just understand politics. Some people are narrow-minded. Some people are open-minded. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what I mean. I mean, shout out to Al Capone. I mean, they yeah. believe in me. They said that they believe in what I was doing, so they definitely want to get behind me and push me. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, man. And I just appreciate everybody. You know what I mean? So it was times where I was on the corner down top feeling I ain't had nothing to do, and I would just come to Black and Nobel, not even to read a book, just to sit around. I'm from Zion, like, what you doing? You know what I mean? Always from South Philly. What you, you know what I mean? I remember, I used to be spazzing. <laughs> Not even to read nothing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Walking, walking. Sometimes, like, 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 with your shop, or people who own studios, or people that own barbershops, because y'all work, you probably can't see it, but it's a lot of shops that say people lie. Because it's like, if I'm on the corner, and I'm hustling, and it's a bookstore next to me, or it's a barbershop next to me, you know what I'm saying? I'm feeling like the block is getting high. Sometimes you just go sit in there for a yeah. time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, 
Y'all might not see it, but sometimes it's gonna save a lot of It becomes a sanctuary. Yeah, yeah. Because you know we not, might not want to go to the library, but I, I know if I go to the house, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm, I, mean, I, ain't, I mean, that cop who was looking for me, he gonna forget about me. Then it goes from, I was, I'm, I'm, I'm getting away from the cop to, damn, how, what's this book right here? Like, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm in there for three, four hours, you know what I'm saying? I could have got shot, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? I can't see me all day, because I was in black and white. Hey, y'all hear that? Make sure y'all get there. February 5th, 2016, the legend, 20th year anniversary. It should be life for bitch and then you read. Woo! Life's a bitch and then you read. Everybody don't live to tell about it. Man, that's heavy, brother. You are an actual feed out. <laughs> but this, this 20 minute conversation, it can take it so far. So I need y'all to check out K Walker. Give them your information. It's K Walker. You know, my Instagram is famous underscore K Walker. You know what I mean? Facebook, fuck K Walker. That's F U K. Space, KDY space, Walker, you know what I mean? It is what it is, man. Shout out to the man on the camera, one of the best in the city, man. That's what it is. Forget it.